This is the Famil for the Fokker D7F and its BMW engine. Looking at the checklist, we have to have the radiator fully open, we have to have altitude throttle to zero, and then we press E to start the engine. First gauge we're going to look at is the fuel gauge, it's on the centre of the fuselage here. We also have bullet counters on our machine guns, so we know how many rounds we have left. Next gauge is the tachometer, max RPM 1600. And off to the right here we have our altimeter, which is measured in metres. Panning over to our throttle and altitude control on the left. You can see two throttles. The one with the big handle is the engine throttle and the one with the smaller handle is the altitude throttle. This extra altitude throttle here essentially gives you more engine power at different altitudes. Um, it breaks up into thirds. The first third you use from 500 meters. That's the point there. Then the second point is at 1000 meters. And then the next point is 1500 meters. So just correspond the uh, right spot onto your altitude and adjust your altitude control accordingly. We're taking off though so we want that altitude control at zero. Alright, next we have the... let me straighten it up. Of the compass and the radiator. You can see the radiator control moving in and out. We want it at full open so we pull it all the way out. And then we press E to start the engine and cock our weapons if we haven't done so. Now we just apply full throttle as usual. Correct yourself with the rudder to keep a straight line. Nose forward to bring the tail off the ground. Maintain the attitude to build up airspeed. Once you've got enough airspeed, just slowly pull back and you're airborne. There's a D7F and BMW engine familiar with takeoff.